Shooting fireworks not with a smartphone but with a DSLM or system camera is an art for itself and there are numerous tutorials in the web on YouTube where people give you well-meant advice how to do this. But last night, the last evening in 2019, I wanted to shoot some fireworks over Lake Zurich. It was a big event and it was so populated and crowded that following the rules of those tutorials was basically impossible. So I had to fully leverage the potential of my Leica SL2, do everything handhold and in this video I will give some hints, tips, tricks and also show the capabilities of the cameras when it comes to shooting fireworks. Let's get started. So I randomly picked five websites with tutorials how to do fireworks photography. There is one common scheme here. You need to have a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you cannot take photos of fireworks. And I respectfully disagree with that. I have lots of respect for those websites because these people know what they are talking about. But in modern DSLMs, in particular for the Leica SL2 and some Sony and Panasonic cameras, you have in-body image stabilization and then you can actually deal with situations which are otherwise impossible because you would not be able to use a tripod at all. So given these circumstances, I ended up tightly penned up in the middle of human bodies. No headroom to move, absolutely no opportunity to build up a tripod and get how those tutorials would call it a sturdy tripod situation for taking photos of the fireworks. And here is where the in-camera image stabilization of cameras like we have it in the Leica SL2 fully comes into play to leverage their capabilities because I did all my shots of the firework handhold and I give a few exposure data in a moment how I did this but I think the images are excellent given the circumstances and most importantly I could completely focus on the firework and was not busy with adjusting a tripod level metering and all of that. So here are my settings for the camera last night. First of all I decided from scratch to go for fully manual mode. Second, since I was playing a little bit with focal length on my 24 to 90 mm standard zoom, I decided for an aperture of f4, which is a little bit more close than fully wide open. I played with shutter speeds between uh, one third of a second and one tenth of a second. One eighth of a second in general worked very well. And for low ISO of 200, which is a typical mistake beginners might make when they do fireworks photography, that they think because it's nighttime they should go for a higher ISO is not necessary. ISO 200 will do the trick and later in post processing you can also get more light into the shadows and actually get this looking quite nicely. I come to less abstract pictures in a moment, but maybe essentially photographing fireworks is at the core of photography because if you think about photography as painting with light, this is the most perfect example of how a camera can paint with light and how a photographer is sucking in these images and impressions from light trails and light effects. Besides that, it's all about colors and it can be mixed, it can be just red, like you see it here on the picture, it can turn, of course, into more purple colors and uh, also depending on the light you get on the sky, you get more details on the crowd in front of you. Very purple pictures here, you can also get some mix back here of purple and greenish colors. You can get fully green colors mixed with yellow. It's a lot about colors and lights and light is just beautiful if it is captured on a sensor like we have it here.
The last remark before showing a few more samples of my shootings from last night is to briefly talk about details and sharpness. So we are talking about handhold exposures here of 1 8 of a second or 1 5th of a second. So typically not working without blurry and shaky effects on the image. Totally different with the Leica SL2 and I know this is also working with some of the Sony cameras from the A7 series where in-body image stabilization helps you to keep the sensor steady besides having a longer exposure time. Zooming into that picture clearly reveals a lot of details, in particular on the boats where the firework is actually fired and also on the boat in the foreground. You can even recognize people sitting in that boat. So lots of details, good sharpness and good clarity overall in that image here.